Welcome back. Today we're at the reloading bench again. And today we're going to do some brass cleaning again. This time everybody keeps telling me to try Lemmy Shine. So I finally went out to the store and bought me some Lemmy Shine. So what I'm going to do is, is I got some of this 45 brass here. And you can see down in there this stuff is dirty. So what I'm going to do is, is I already got my little tub here filled with water. You can see it a little bit in the camera. I don't want to spill it, so I ain't going to tilt it too much. And what I'm going to do is, is I heard you don't need a lot of this. A lot of people are saying no more than a 9 millimeter shell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little splash of this in with a little splash of Dawn in. And then we're going to put probably about half of these in there. There's 100 rounds in here. I'm going to put as close to 50 as I can. I'm not going to count them out. So let's go ahead and get the camera restarted up in a different angle and then I'll show you guys how I'm going to put this in and we'll get this started. Okay you can see down in there now I got my Dawn dish soap here. I'm just going to put a little squirt of that in there and then on the Lemmy Shine everybody says they use a nine millimeter. They say use a full shell for half an hour. I'm going to just dip it in here and if I get about a half, uh, that's pretty full. I'm going to dump a little bit more out. I'm going to go about half. Because normally I let it tumble for about an hour. So there we go. Got about a half a shell. We'll dump that in there. And then I'll get the Lemmy Shine closed up here. We're going to take about half of our 45 day CP here. I'm going to dump it right down in there. Get a few more here. Try to get a big handful. That should be enough for the test here. Then we'll go ahead and get this all sealed up here. Get this put back on. that down good. Bump the camera a little bit. Then what we'll do is, like I did a little bit less, I only did a half a nine millimeter case. And the reason why I did that is because normally I let it tumble for an hour. And that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to get this tightened down. Feels like it's getting pretty tight there. We'll throw it up on here. Go ahead and pull it forward a little bit and turn it on. And I'll be back in an hour. Alright, it's been about 45 minutes and I'm going to shut this off. The only reason why I'm shutting it off at 45 minutes is because I really don't have that much 45 ACP brass and I don't want to wreck it. So I'm going to go ahead and unthread this here real quick get it off of here put this all to the side try to pop that all off here got a little bit of a leak here and we're gonna go ahead actually i'm just gonna pan the camera down we're gonna look at how dirty that water is now what i'm gonna do is grab one out of there and that looks pretty good so let me go ahead and go strain this water out and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so I got them strained out. And the only thing I did was is I threw them in a towel and dried them off. But you can see here, these things look pretty dang clean. That is pretty good. I probably could have left them in a little bit longer. Um, I only did a half of a nine millimeter case and did it for 45 minutes. I probably could have done it for an hour. There's still a tad bit, even with the steel pins in the primer pockets. But that is what they look like and that's how it turned out. And that was just a little bit of Dawn dish soap and uh, half of a nine millimeter case of uh, Lemmy Shine here. So I think this stuff works out pretty good. Another thing I wanna show you is, is the way I used to clean it. I got some nine millimeter here. Move that over to the side. Uh, the way I did clean them, I used the dish soap with lemon juice. Get them in my hand here. 
those didn't come out too bad, but I got a lot of water spots and everything. So I'm hoping doing it with the Lemmy Shine, it gets rid of those water spots. As soon as I get done with the video, I'll throw these in the dehydrator and dehydrate them. And then we'll put those to the side. And then here I got some 223 rounds that I did. And what I used on the 223 rounds is I used this uh, gun tap brass shine that came with my St. Lucille pins when I ordered them. And then we can reach into there and you can see how those came out. So what I'm going to do is real quick is we'll grab a 9, we'll grab a 45, and the 223. So the 223 was done with the gun tap, 9mm was done with the uh, lemon juice and dish soap, and then this was done with the lemmy shine and the dish soap. So there you get a look at all of them. There's a nice good look. And I think that lemmy shine didn't do too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in the dehydrator and see what they look like. But I don't think they came out too bad, so go ahead if you want to. I already put my dish soap away, but get some lemmy shine in a dish soap. Seems to work out pretty good. Well, that's all I got for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.